Ten years ago, Liesl Clark and Rebecca Rockefeller founded the Buy Nothing Project. When we started the very first group, I was literally getting food and clothing that I could not afford otherwise. People are okay with reusing items. Um, people are okay with borrowing and lending. And we don't have to go out and buy new. And we can rely on our neighbors. Including people like Madeline. I ended up with this beautiful, basically brand new bike that a woman a couple blocks away wasn't using and was willing to give away. For Jenna Orndorff, it was a lifesaver after a fire. I lost everything. My apartment was condemned. I was displaced and basically had to start over. She turned to the local Buy Nothing group on Facebook and surprisingly found a lot. Plants, cat toys, comforters, quilts, outdoor furniture. Husband and wife came here and brought this 60 inch TV to my new apartment, the coffee table that it sits on and also this rug. And participant numbers have grown. The Free Cycle Network and the Buy Nothing Project claim more than 16 million members. And aside from the millions of dollars saved, these groups are great for the environment. It's estimated that about 1,000 items are exchanged every day globally on Free Cycle. And that's about equivalent to how much goes into a mid-sized landfill every day. So it's not going to solve our global waste problem, but it's something easy that everybody can participate in. Maybe you already do. Becky Worley reporting there. Buy nothing communities, by the way, are hyper local usually. You can find them a lot of times, those free items posted on Nextdoor or Facebook Marketplace, maybe in the neighborhood where you are. In some areas, though, the Buy Nothing app is the best venue for those exchanges.